Hello everyone, my name is Gerald from Trading Waves, where we wave differently. And welcome to today's short video where we're going to be taking a look at the short term view of the cable US dollar from the lows of March 2020. It appears that we had what appears to be three swings, but is the three swings complete to the upside? And are we going to get this move to the downside correcting these three swings? Or is the three swings going to continue to the upside? Are we going to expect one more push perhaps to the upside? All right, so those are the possible, the two possible alternatives there. Now on the one hour, on the one hour, bringing up some labels up just to show you a possibility or one of the possibilities there is that from the peak of uh, February about 24th, one possibility could be that from that peak, we are expecting or we might see a move higher from here. Uh, that peak itself from this low would have been three swings higher for that W, right? And then these three swings here for this X, and then we, we might then expect to see a, a move higher in Y like that. And um, in that case, then it means the three swings from the March 2020 low uh, has not completed at this peak, and it's going to complete sometime in the near future. All right. Or what we could have from here is that this might just be a one, two, three, right? We might get a possible one, two, three connector there, and then another one, two, three lower in this X uh, swing before we can see the move higher. All right. That's another possibility there. So if price breaks this invalidation level here and continues to trade lower, that would suggest, especially if it breaks below this uh, low here, suggest that the X may not be completed there and may complete elsewhere lower sometime into the future. The current positioning of the X here is within the equal leg area between A and C in the purple degree there. Okay, so X may, may um, complete elsewhere lower, as I said, if price breaks below this invalidation level, especially below that particular uh, invalidation level there. And the reason for that is that we propose that currently X is com completed there, right? And this is one in there, minuet degree or the purple degree. And this is the pullback lower in two. And then this is the lower degree one right in the sub minute degree then we are looking for this to be an expanding flat correction in wave two so as we know wave two cannot retrace lower than the start of wave one in 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 the case of a sub minute degree wave count the same is applicable in the case of a minute degree count it's wave two cannot go lower than the start of wave one. Hence, I'm saying that if it breaks lower than the, this low here, and especially that one there, then it might just be giving us a larger correction lower in X, which is going to complete somewhere in the future uh, before we can see the move higher in Y, that which we have been expecting, all right? So which one of these two alternatives it has a higher probability of happening, right? So such information is it's already known to our members exclusively because the certain guidelines and rules that we put or system or methods that we put in place to ensure that we exclude um, alternatives which are of least possibility in, in so far as occurrence is concerned. And in case you'd like to join us, our website address is www.elliotwave. 
dash principal dot com and we look forward to welcoming you on board just to quickly show you what our landing page looks like when you land on our website address this is what you would see all right and the website website address uh, contained in the address bar at the top there all right thank you guys for watching this video i hope it benefits you and i hope to welcome you on board uh, soon uh, cheers bye